Is it me? Or do a lot of people have social anxiety right now on the planet? Is it me? Or a lot of people having panic attacks right now as I'm speaking? Deep divers, I've got three messages in a row about social anxiety, panic attacks, and I'm like, that's a sign. Anytime I see three, that's a sign, okay? It is no wonder why so many people have anxiety, social anxiety, panic attacks right now. Look at what's going on on the planet, deep divers. Lockdown, vaccinations, COVID-19, social distancing. Yeah, we are living in crazy ass times. But there is hope because I've been there, deep divers. I used to have panic attacks like every single day. Social anxiety like every single day. And people are like, Ralph, just snap out of it. No, when you tell someone with anxiety or panic, panic attacks to snap out of it. Congratulations. It only makes it worse. <laughs> Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in nature, baby. Another beautiful day. I'm just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Raising the frequency, raising the vibration, sending you tons of of good ass energy today, deep divers. Take that, take that, take that. Why you have social anxiety and don't fit in. Look, deep divers, we're living in very anxious times. Let's face it. There is a lot of uncertainty right now on the planet. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next. Not even the cat down the road. Like, I'm scared of vaccinations, Ralph. I'm afraid to go back to college every single day. I'm, I got social anxiety, Ralph. Like social distancing has made social anxiety even worse. Like, what are we gonna do about this? You turn on the TV, coronavirus, okay? It's no wonder why a lot of people are having panic attacks. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Deep divers. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Why you have social anxiety, panic attacks, and don't fit in. Let me tell you this. They want you to have anxiety. They want you to have social anxiety. They want you to have panic attacks because anytime you have that, you feel powerless, right? I know from firsthand experience. I used to have tons of social anxiety. Then I realized this. It's because dun, 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 I believe there are perfect people in planet earth. No, deep divers, there are no perfect people in this planet. There are only imperfect people. <laughs> I have perfect imperfections, okay? <laughs> when I realized this, my social anxiety started to disappear. Okay, so you're telling me everyone took a dump today? Yes, Ralph. Oh my gosh. I feel better about myself. <laughs> You're telling me everyone bleeds red? Yes, Ralph. Oh, I feel better about myself. The reason why a lot of people have social anxiety is because they think everyone else has no problems. Everyone else has it all figured out. No, deep divers. A lot of people are insecure, just like you, me, the cat down the road over there, like, it's natural. It's part of being human. So if you have social anxiety, stop believing there are perfect people. No, there are only people and we all are dealing with something. Okay, everyone has a struggle. 
a problem you know nothing about. It's part of being human. So stop feeling like it's only you that is insecure, only you. No, it's all of us, okay? <laughs> Why you have social anxiety and don't fit in? It's all about what you're consuming. If you are just consuming fear, fear, fear from the news, you're going to have a lot of anxiety. If you truly believe other people are dangerous, social distancing, COVID-19, you are going to have a lot of social anxiety. Have you noticed deep divers right now there is a new phenomenon on the planet? And that is stay away from me. Two meters, baby. So of course, like with social distancing, there is going to be more social anxiety. I hopped onto a train, deep divers. Everyone's wearing a face mask. I'm like, I'm scared right now. I don't know why. I felt very uncomfortable, right? <laughs> so we have to realize the times we're living in. At the same time, your social anxiety has everything to do with what you're doing with your body, okay? Many people who have, who have a lot of anxiety, a lot of panic attacks, they are having out-of-body experiences. They're having out-of-body experiences, okay? You need to have an inner-body experience. You have to say, what am I doing with my body right now? When you develop total body awareness, your anxiety subsides. Your panic begins to disappear. When you take control of what you're doing with your body, the body is connected to our emotions, our feelings, what you are doing with your body. If I'm in a low power pose like this, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to have even more anxiety. But if I relax my shoulders, stick my chest out, take a good ass dose of that, woo, good ass prana, baby. All of a sudden, my anxiety disappears because I'm bringing calm into my body. So it's got everything to do with what you're doing with your body. Let me tell you this. Relaxation is what you are. Anxiety is what you think you should be. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. Relaxation is what you are. Panic is what you think you should be. A lot of people, they have a lot of pressure. That's why I had a lot of anxiety. Pressure from the government, pressure from the media, pressure from home, pressure from friends and family. It's no wonder why so many people have social anxiety in school, in college, trying to fit in when you know you came here to stand out. If you have social anxiety, it's because, congratulations, look at you go. You are thinking for everyone. That's what I was doing. I would walk into a room. Oh my gosh, they're looking at me. Oh my gosh, they're thinking about me. No, spoiler alert, Ralph, they're so not. Nobody can be bothered. Nobody cares about you. Look, everyone's on their phone, deep divers. If someone is really thinking about you 24 seven, that's because they really love you. And that's an actual compliment, okay? Most people don't even see you because they're in their own world, okay? So the reason why a lot of people have social anxiety is because they think everyone is always focusing on them. When in actuality, that couldn't be further from the truth. Nobody cares. You gotta start focusing on yourself and stop externalizing your power. Stop focusing on what's happening out there. That's why you have social anxiety and panic attacks because you have neglected what's happening in here. Let me tell you this, deep divers. When you feel less than, you have an inferiority complex, you're going to have a lot of social anxiety. Oh, they've got a nicer car than me. They make more money than me. They have more followers than me. Social anxiety. Because you don't feel you deserve to be 
in the presence of other people because you feel less than them. Who taught you that? Who taught you you weren't good enough? Who taught you you don't deserve to be here? When you know who you are, your anxiety begins to fade away. When you realize that actually you are a spiritual being having a human experience and you are worthy to be anywhere on this planet and to sit with anyone, your anxiety begins to fade away. Let me tell you this. Why do people also have a lot of social anxiety and don't fit in? They feel they're more than. If you feel you're also more than people, you will have a lot of social anxiety. It's called ascribing intent. So let's just say you're walking around and you feel very uncomfortable with interacting with other people. It's because you feel that anything someone does is in response to you. It's what we call ascribing intent, okay? Let's just say you hop on a train or a bus and everyone in your mind is looking at you and now you feel nervous. When in actuality, where else do you want them to look, deep divers? They've got to look this way and you are in that direction. But they're not looking at you, they're just looking, okay? <laughs> it's how you're interpreting other people's behavior. This is what gives rise to social anxiety and panic attacks. Stop focusing on what other people are doing. Start focusing on what you are doing. It's all in your mind. All is mental. When you remind yourself of that, your anxiety, your panic attacks start to subside. We have this importance. You see, a lot of social anxiety and panic attacks also emanates from this kind of narcissistic tendency a lot of people have to feel that everything is all about them all the time. We have this importance, okay? And this is why it can backfire. Living in this narcissistic world right now, everyone's taking selfies. Yeah, it's no wonder why a lot of people have social anxiety because you feel that you're so important that everyone is out to get you or conspiring to get you or looking at you or staring at you when that couldn't be further from the truth. So we have to stop looking at people and feeling like, hey, they're, they're better than me. We've got to stop placing people on a pedestal. Also, we have to take ourselves off the high horse and say, actually, everyone's human. Yes, we are uniquely different, but at the same time, we all share similar feelings. Other people may just be nervous like you are. Okay, so stop feeling, once again, there are perfect people. All anxiety emanates from the desire to escape the present moment. Mm. What? Oh my God. Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. All anxiety emanates from the desire to escape the present moment. The world is slowly being turned into a prison planet. A lot of people know this. Anxiety is a good thing. Social anxiety is a good thing because it's telling you, hey, you got to get your ass out of here because they're going to turn this planet into a prison planet, give everyone a microchip up their ass and it's not going to look pretty. Absolutely not. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. So your anxiety is also linked into your intuition to say, actually, I got to get up. I got to go. I got to get away from here. I got to escape now. I got to run away from here. That's what your anxiety is. It's a warning sign. It's your inner GPS saying, hey, this is a place where you don't want to be in, okay? Because it's going to get ugly here. So realize your anxiety is actually your friend. It's actually your servant helping you to move in a place which can actually help you. Fight or flight, it's all about helping you move to a place where you can thrive in. So anytime you're anxious or you're full of panic, it's because your current location is not really helping you go to the next level of evolution. You know this is not a healthy breeding ground. Right now, mandatory face masks, vaccinations, you're like, hey, I don't want to be in this place. I don't want to be around these people. Everyone's wearing a mask. I can't even see their smile. That's what your anxiety is telling you that, hey, you don't want to be here. 
And we have to respect that because all anxiety comes from the desire to escape the present moment. Therefore, to realize why you have social anxiety and don't fit in, it's because you are trying to escape the people you are around, you are trying to escape the present moment. So escape then, okay? Run! And then come somewhere which nourishes your soul, hang around people who you don't want to get away from, who accept you for you, who don't want to change you, mold you, turn you into something else that you're not, who love you for you. You see, I let go of anxiety deep divers when I realized I don't have to be someone else. I can't be someone else because everyone else is taken. Everyone else is taken, deep divers, even those butterflies over there. I'm only left with me. Therefore, I've got to form a better relationship with who I am and love myself to the point where I'm like, hey, I'm not afraid to be alone. We are never alone unless we abandon ourselves. Oh, baby. Why you have social anxiety and don't fit in is because you have abandoned yourself. We have to learn how to be alone. And once we can learn how to be alone, we have no more panic attacks, no more anxiety. Form a better relationship with yourself. Realize the power of just one person being alone. It's one person who's changed the course of human history. When we go back in history, Buddha, Jesus, all of these people, it's just one person. They have an influence over billions of people. So you have to start putting more value on your own company, on your own thought, on your own freedom of expression and how beautiful that is. Let me tell you this, deep divers. If you have social anxiety and don't fit in, if you've been having a lot of panic attacks, please turn off anything which is creating more fear inside of you. That could be CNN, ABC, these new stations just talking about how many new cases, how many more cases there are of COVID-19, how many more new cases there are of COVID-19. We have to turn that off and we have to start Realizing fear is what will keep us in panic. Fear is what will keep us in anxiety. Let me just tell you this first and foremost. A lot of people don't realize your social anxiety comes from believing in a story which isn't true. You see, the story that goes on in our minds when we have social anxiety, one of the stories is that I am lacking. I am not there and someone else is. Another story that happens with people with social anxiety is that I don't deserve to be seen right now. Quite frankly, I'm not good enough. So we have this story that's playing in our minds, but it's not what actually is happening. So we have to learn how to differentiate with what is going on in our minds and what is actually happening. Therefore, we have to become very neutral. Meditation helps this to realize that I'm only going to see what I'm seeing. I'm no longer going to see my projections. Okay. Very important. This is how I overcame social anxiety and panic attacks. If I see someone, I'm not going to create a story about who I think they are. I'm just going to see that person. They are just the person walking. I'm walking as well. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. I'm not going to say, Hey, yeah, this person is like this and they're like that. When you create these imaginary scenarios that don't work in your favor, that's why you have social anxiety and a lot of panic attacks. Remind yourself, everybody bleeds red. Remind yourself, everybody has feelings. Remind yourself, nobody always 
has a perfect day. Not every day. Sometimes they fall on their ass and the cat down the road pees on them as well. It's not a good day at all. Okay. <laughs> Why you have social anxiety and don't fit in? Because you are outgrowing your company. When you are forcing yourself to be around people who don't get you, that you can't really communicate with in an open way, you're going to have a lot of social anxiety. Whenever you can't be yourself, you will always have social anxiety and panic attacks. You have to move to an environment which allows you to express yourself 100%. Look, deep divers, I can do this. Feel so good to be alive, baby. No anxiety whatsoever. No panic. When I was working 12 hours a day, I couldn't do that. I couldn't express myself. Therefore, I had a lot of social anxiety because I'm like, these people don't know who I am. They don't know who I am. You have to surround yourself with people who know who you are. Deep divers know who I am. <laughs> Seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody who is stuffing a lot of blueberries in their mouth right now. Magnesium is the key nutrient to alleviate anxiety. I repeat, magnesium is the key nutrient to alleviate anxiety to alleviate panic attacks eat more magnesium more leafy greens kale arugula swiss chard spinach the more magnesium you have the less anxiety you will have if you have social anxiety then you're drinking coffee having a high caffeine diet no wonder why no wonder right so we've got to start drinking more chamomile tea that will really help us, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you this, deep divers. If you are somebody who is walking around with social anxiety, good news, you're not the only one. Now, if you feel you don't fit in, it's because you didn't come here to fit in. You came here to stand out and you know you came to this planet for a greater purpose than other people. What you're doing right now is subjugating yourself, limiting yourself, acting small when you know you came here to act big. You came here to do it big and therefore you got you to gotta take flight. Stop playing small to make other people feel good. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm, no, 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 no. You didn't come here to play small. You playing small is not going to do anybody any favors. So start realizing you are so worthy to be anywhere or to be with anyone on the planet and realize people are people. That's it. Nobody is better than you. Nobody is less than you. We're, we are all people. And we are all equal when it comes to bleeding, when it comes to crying, when it comes to getting angry. Just people. So your social anxiety will disappear when you learn how to be alone, when you realize you have to get comfortable in your own skin to say, actually, I love myself so much. I'm not intimidated. I'm not afraid of anybody else because I am worthy to be here. That's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. There is nothing to be afraid of. You don't have to be afraid of other people. You don't have to be afraid of COVID-19. You definitely don't have to be afraid of vaccinations or people wearing face masks. Just love yourself, accept yourself, and you're good to go. You're good to go. You're good to go. I'm just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo! With a whole lot of heart, with social anxiety, who wants to model the clothing? Well, let me know. <laughs> Got a question for me, deep divers? Add me on the verified Instagram account at official Ralph Smart and Facebook at Ralph Smart. If this video inspired you, deep divers, check out the amazing new book for more life-changing, empowering information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon.
and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. Deep divers, relaxation is what you are. Anxiety is what you think you should be. Just be, and anxiety will leave. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You just be and breathe like this. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. And anxiety, where have you gone? Social anxiety, where have you gone? Okay? Have a beautiful day. Peace.